God. Is that Bruce Wayne? You really think he'd show up here? No, oh, tunes for drinking, dancing, and fighting. Not necessarily in that order. I don't think everybody's happy to see me. Did you hear? The cops raided his house. <laughs> Sorry, his manner. You lost? Cause I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Do you know Selena Kyle? There are men after her. Uh-huh. When aren't there? Well, these ones are trying to kill her. Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. Cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Uh, buy you a drink? How about a few? <laughs> it ain't like you're short on cash. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. But whatever. <sighs> Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. That's why I'm here. You're in danger. I've had rats on my tail all day. The man who hired you. His name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The penguin. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He stole mind-altering chemicals from Falcone. Hmm. Drugs aren't really Penguin's M.O. Yeah, well, maybe he's branching out. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. I need you, Selena. That right? If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Uh -huh. Harvey knows that. Keep Harvey out of this. The less he knows, the safer he'll be. I'm sure his safety is your paramount concern. You and I... <laughs> Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Hello. Oh no. Beat it. We're here for her. 
If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. Let's I fucking said, do it. Leave! Done yet. I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Oh my god! Good for such a pretty boy. I am him. Come on, this way. Quick, check the alleyway. Are we alone? Yeah, we're, we're alone. Really? Fuck it. Oh. Let's get out of here. Oh. Nice. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Nice. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? The last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. Hill's working with Penguin. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. 
The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handled Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Huh. I don't know if Bruce will be able to get Mayor Hill to confess. I think Batman would be the best. But yeah, Batman's reputation is at stake. Uh We'll we'll try Bruce. We'll we'll try Bruce. I hope it works, but I don't I don't know. Going as Bruce is the smart choice. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. Well, I was really hoping you'd be able to help me out. Who knows, maybe I could return the favor one day. It seems you do have an appointment, Mr. Wayne. Silly me. <laughs> Thank you, lady. Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to see you. But you're a day late and a great many dollars short. This isn't a social call, Hill. I'm here for answers. Well, well, straight to business. And I was going to have Deborah make you a martini. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A young man like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So? What's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? You're working with Oswald Cobblepot and his thugs. Working with them? They're a bigger threat to order than those masked freaks. I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. Even if that's true, it's no excuse for Cobblepot's crimes. I quite agree. It doesn't hurt to understand your enemy's motives. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career. And my rival has bottomless pockets. Huh. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. No. I don't think I can betray Harvey. I don't think I can do it. Oh, shit. I mean, we've come so far with Harvey. I don't think we should... I really don't think we should betray him, man. This is fucking hard. Uh. <sighs> Fine. That's what it takes to earn your friendship. I knew you'd see the light. It's time we really talked. Power is an old oak. The trunk stands strong, but it's the roots that hold it up. And the thickest of them lead to Arkham. Arkham Asylum? Your father, me, Falcone, we used it to get our enemies out of the way. Drugged and declared them insane. It made it easy to take their things. Thomas was the doctor. 
I leveraged my political power to ease the transfer of assets. Balcone was the muscle. He had his own way of making problems go away. My father... I... I can't believe he'd be part of that. It doesn't matter if you believe. Penguin does, and he's not happy about it. Gotham was chaos before we took control. At least now there's a semblance of order. Listen, Bruce. Now that we're back on the same side, your father's last gift to me. They're yours. The keys to the city. Thank you. Hamilton. Call me Hamilton. Penguin's gathered quite a few victims to his crusade. But that's a problem for another day. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prep for the debate. My door is always open, Bruce. Next time, make an appointment. I hope I made the right choice. Whatever deal you made with Penguin, he won't honor it. Don't worry about me. He's not the first to take a shot at me. Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hills, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To hear their crimes detailed. First by Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man, and the city needs you, now more than ever. I'll, uh, leave you to it then. Mm. Oh. Oh. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, Rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign oh. staff and making ad buys. Uh. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. <laughs> In other news, nobody goes to God made with all the suspects taken into custody while unconscious. Police are seeking an unidentified man and woman who were seen in conversation with the assailants shortly before the fight. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite uh, the Harvey's going to be pissed. Wayne, rumors... Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there, now. Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's not exactly pleasant. Harvey, listen to me. Your life is in danger. Because of 
Penguin and his thugs? Thanks, but there is an army of security here. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of overkill, if you ask me. It's not overkill, Harvey. It's a real... Please. I need to get this off my chest. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Hmm. Until all this mess with your family blows over. I think They're I told him to do afraid. that. It's not a very good optic. I, I get it. It's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. Ah, <sighs> come on, Arby. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we all know the truth about our friendship. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Oh, my God. Whatever it takes to save Gotham, that's what we wanted. Harvey, you need to wake up, buddy. No, Harvey. You can forget it. That's disappointing. Do you have a good reason? You really have to ask me that. Yeah, I get it. You don't owe me an explanation. Right. Well, look, I have to go. The, uh, the makeup person is here. Guess they have to put on my face. Listen, I'm sorry we couldn't make this work out, Bruce. Harvey! Quite so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. I'm glad I took a chance on this this collaboration of ours. Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. A hero. I hope so. Hero is a lofty title. I hope I live up to it. Could be tonight's the night to prove it. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? I think she's mending her ways. Oh, he's right, Lieutenant. I don't do the bad things anymore. Unless it's on request. This better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing? Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much into it. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Uh, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. <laughs> Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home. A city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rising crime rates, income inequality, yes, a mass vigilante loose on our streets. Defendants will tackle it all. <gasps> 
<laughs> nice. At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. Firing the moderator! Holy shit. Oh my god. I hate man. to be a downer, but these hostages. I don't like their chances. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. If we're quick and decisive, no one else has to die. If you say so. But Penguin's playing for keeps. Fanatics always do. You'll do. Get out here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Thank you for Wait. volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right, I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Got to take them out quietly. Nice. Oh, okay. What can I do with him? Oh, I can throw him up to Catwoman. And I think I will do that. Sounds fun. <laughs> and I think I got the other guy. Oh, there's a guy here as well. The table. Stage exit. Stage exit. Line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My council, brothers and sisters of Gotham, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption that ruined your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. Tonight, we show you the truth. I knew this was too big for Oswald alone. Someone else is pulling the strings. Smart. Let someone else do the dirty work. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Chosen to Go me. on, love. You know what to do. No. Ah! Oh. She did not hesitate. Oh, dude. Show Gotham your truth. Tell them what you really think about the city you pretend to love. 
everybody in Gotham saw that moderator get shot on live TV. What's going on in there? Huh. First off, we should incinerate the poor. What? <laughs> First off, we should incinerate the poor. We're out of time, Batman! The brass is going nuts with those two drugs on stage! Subject 9, Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. Please, I'll sell you the land. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Give her the drug. Thomas, we were, we're friends. Our best play together. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. Commence the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. Oh my god, man. Now you know. Now you will see. I am going to fuck you up. Nice. Go! Why don't you kick your crap out of here? <laughs> Round two. Oh, shit. Please, I made a man. You could never. <laughs> That's all, Wayne. <laughs> I took out Thomas Wayne. That, 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 that was all him. He didn't know when to stop. I had him killed because of it. You piece of shit. <laughs> That won't bring back my poor old mum. So this is for her. How about yeah. you kill anyone else? Whoa. Harvey. Yeah. Right oh. in your turn, Dent. Oh, 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 oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Where's your mate, Bruce Wayne? Your biggest supporter, and he didn't yes. even turn up! Oh, come on. Batman! The revolution's already started! It's too late to join! Let him go, man. I'm not here to join you. I'm here to crush you. That's what I was afraid of. No. Oh, dude. <gasps> no. No. Oh, no. Holy shit. I <sighs> Fuck it. Mr. Dent. No! Oh my god, dude! Thanks. Freeze! I said freeze! Hold your fire, damn it! I'm 
I'm sorry. I, I thought she could handle Where's herself. Oh, of course he got away. City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Mr. Wayne? Lieutenant. He's lucky, you know. Could have been much worse if the Batman hadn't been there. But there still will be scars. Did you see her? Well, look for the blood. There! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm Come sorry, on. Selena. She kinda got bumped. Representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. Who the hell is this guy? This is so good, guys. Oh my god. I, I didn't know what to do either to save Harvey or save Selena. I, I thought she could handle herself, which she did. But. I, I think Harvey would have fucking died if I didn't help him. Wow. Holy shit. I can't believe we did that. Yeah, man. I mean, we got the info, though. Wow. Looks like everybody else wanted to save Selena. I had high hopes for her. I knew she could handle herself. She still got shot. Alright guys, I want to thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy my choices, I hope you enjoy the playthrough, I want to thank you all for watching, and yeah, have a great day.
next time on Batman, the Telltale series. Batman saved me, but I know this isn't over. Who are these people, Bruce? Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? You know what I want. No more hiding. Not for anyone. But don't worry. Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming to him. Bruce!